hello everyone peace be upon you all and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, simple uh, be uh, beanie uh, this is how it looks uh, from the top and this is how it looks so to make this uh, the length first i will uh, i would like to tell you guys the length and the width of this beanie and so the width of this beanie on the bottom is approximately nine inches and the length of the beanie is approximately eight inches uh, so I will tell the yarn and the crochet hook I used is I used this yarn this is uh, Gonka yarn by Ice Yarn and into this 100 gram of uh, the ball of this yarn there is there is 300 meters of yarn into this 100 gram uh, ball, uh, ball of the yarn and the crochet hook I used is three millimeter. So let's get started. The starting point of the beanie is here in the bottom. We are going to start from here and then we will work upwards. So to start the bottom, what we are going to do is we are going to make basic chains. So what we are going to do is first of all we are going to make a slip knot and then we are going to make basic starting chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 this is the multiple we are going to use you can you you can chain as many numbers of chain you want to just it has to be equally number to 13 i mean you can use uh, you can chain as many as you want to which any number which can be divided by 13 so for this beanie for this beanie i made 78 chains so i'm going to make 78 chains and then i will resume the video when i have made uh, all the chains i have made 78 chains and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to slip stitch into the first chain just be careful that you don't uh, twist uh, these chains so simply slip stitch into the first chain like that and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make chain three one two three and chain three in this round or any uh, upcoming round does not count as our double crochet so i'm going to So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one double crochet into the same chain where I have made uh, three chains and then one double crochet into each and every chain two three four So just like that I'm going to make one double crochet in, in each and every chain to the end. So I have made a double crochet in each and every chain and now I am at the end. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to slip stitch into the top of this starting chain. As I said this does not count as our first double crochet. So this is our first double crochet. This one. So I'm going to So I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet like that. Now, 
now i will chain three one two three and again it does not count as our first double crochet so this is our first double crochet i am going to make one front post double crochet into that this is our next front available double crochet so i'm going to make a back post double crochet front post double crochet into the next and back post double crochet into the next this front post and back post double crochet will create this ribbing at the bottom so this is the pattern i'm going to repeat just make one front post double crochet into the next and back post double crochet into the next all the way to the end so i'm at the end of this round so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip this chain three and i'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet which is our front post double crochet this one now i will make chain three one two three and i will make a front post double crochet into this front post double crochet the next is back post double crochet so i'm going to make a back post double crochet into that again it's front post double crochet so i'm going to make one front post double crochet into that this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make one uh, front post double crochet in front post double crochet and back post double crochet into back post double crochet all the way to the end so i'm at the end of this round so i'm going to skip this chain three starting chain three and on the top of our first front post double crochet i'm going to make a slip stitch and then i'm going to do the same which i did in last round i will make chain three and once more i will repeat that i will make front post double crochet into all front post double crochets and back post double crochets into all back post double crochets all the way to the end like that front post double crochet in all front post double crochets and back post double crochets in all back post double crochets so i'm at the end of this round so i'm going to skip this chain three starting chain three and on the top of our first front post double crochet i'm going to make a slip stitch and then i'm going to make chain one and i will make one single crochet into this stitch the first stitch and then i'm going to place a stitch marker into this single crochet we have just made and uh, because from now on we are not going to do slip stitch uh, at the end of the uh, of every round so that's why i have placed a stitch marker here so that i know uh, where my round will end and where my next round will start so one single crochet into this and then one single crochet into the next uh, stitch now what we are going to do is we are going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and then we are going to skip one two three four five uh, double crochets and into the sixth one I'm going to insert the hook, grab the yarn and then I will pull it as much as, much as I can. You can see this is a very long uh, loop of the yarn. And then I will make a regular double crochet. I will, pull, I will pull through first two loops and then the last two loops. And then I will do into the same uh, stitch I'm going to make these uh, I don't know what you call it long double crochets I'm going to make I have made one I'm going to make 10 more insert the hook into the uh, stitch grab the yarn and then pull the yarn as much as you can like that and then pull through first two loops and then next two loops two, two of our stitches are done I'm going to make nine more like that i will show you guys once more slowly and then i will speed it little bit so i can save some time wrap the yarn around the crochet hook insert the crochet into the stitch grab the yarn pull the yarn so it's loose and then pull through first two loops and then 
the last two loops I have made four I'm going to make five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so I have made 11 these long uh, double crochets now what we are going to do is we are going to skip 1 2 3 4 and 5 and into the sixth one which is this one I am going to make a single crochet and one single crochet into the next and then I am going to skip five uh, stitches one two three four five and into the sixth one i'm going to make those long 11 long double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and then I'm going to skip one two three four five stitches and into the sixth one I'm going to make one two three four five one single crochet and then one single crochet into the next one and this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here which is that I have already made two single cro one single crochet into two into these two stitches now I am going to skip next five stitches and into the sixth one I will call it a fan stitch you are going to make a fan stitch which is that you are going to make 11 long double crochet then skip five stitches and then make one single crochet into next two stitches this is the pattern i'm going to repeat to the end so i'm at the end of this round and at the end of this round if you did the same numbers of the chain which i did which was uh, that i made 78 chains then you should end up with six of these uh, fan stitches and six sets of these uh, uh, single uh, though, uh, two single crochets so now what i'm going to do is I have five stitches left so I'm going to skip all of these stitches and I will not join into this first uh, single crochet I will just make a single crochet on top of that single crochet and then I will make one single crochet into the next and then I'm going to make one back post double crochet in these 11 long double crochets I'm going to insert my hook from the behind grab the yarn and make one single crochet again I'm going to make a back post single crochet like that one back post single crochet into all of these long double crochets like that and now we have reached our uh, uh, single crochets I'm going to make one single crochet into each of both single crochets this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make one back post single crochet into all of these long double crochets and then we are going to make one single crochet on the top of these two single crochets all the way to the end so i'm at the end of this round and uh, there is just one thing that i forgot to mention that whenever you are going to start a new round uh, as I said that we are going we are not going to make slip stitches so always remove the stitch marker and uh, replace is in replace it into our 
next single crochet so i'm going to remove it remove it and then this was our first single crochet from last round so i'm going to make one single crochet into that and then i will place the stitch marker again into that and then i'm going to make simply one single crochet simple plain single crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end just simple plain single crochet so i'm the end uh, i'm at the end of this round what i'm going to do now is i'm going to repeat the last round which are, which was that i made simple plain single crochet in each and every stitch this round i'm going to repeat three more times and i will make all of these three rounds off camera so that i can save some time and then i, I will resume my video after making three rounds of one single crochet in each and every single crochet so i have completed three rounds of uh, single crochet so if you include the round of the single crochets where we made back post single crochet into these double crochets if you count them if you if you include those uh, that round also you should end up with five rounds of single crochets what we are going to do now is we are going to make one single crochet into next eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight now what we are going to do we are going to go a little bit down here and these are our long what i call them long um, double crochets so i'm going to i'm going to count this is our first long double crochet second one two three four five and into the sixth one which is the central one because we made 11 so the sixth one is the central one so what we are going to do is we are going to make one single crochet into one single crochet we are going to insert the hook from above like that into the under the both loops of the sixth um, double crochet and i'm going to grab the yarn and i'm going to make one single crochet and then from the behind here i'm going this is where we, we made our single crochet and then we made a single crochet here so i'm going to skip next single crochet which is this one and I'm going to make skip this sing, single crochet and make 12 single crochets into next 12 single crochets 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 and then we are going to repeat what we did here we are going to skip one two three four five uh, double crochets here and into the sixth one which is this one i'm going to insert the hook from the above under both loops grab my yarn and then make one single crochet and then i'm going to skip one single crochet the next single crochet which is this one and then i'm going to make 12 single crochets in next 12 or one single crochet into next 12 single crochets 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन अलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व एंड देन अगेन आई विल शो यू गाइज वंस मोर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्कीप वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड दिस इज द सिक्स वन आई एम गोइंग टू इंसर्ट फ्रॉम द अब अंडर बोथ लूप आई एम गोइंग टू ग्रैप द यान एंड देन मेक अ सिंगल क्रोशे देन स्कीप नेक्स्ट सिंगल क्रोशे दिस वन एंड देन मेक वन सिंगल क्रोशे इन टू नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व सिंगल क्रोशे दिस इज द पैटर्न आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट जस्ट मेक ट्वेल्व सिंगल क्रोशे एंड देन गो डाउन एंड स्कीप first five double crochets and into the sixth one which is the central one make a single crochet and then make again 12 single crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end so i am going to work the last uh, into the last set of these double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 and into the sixth or central one i am going to make one single crochet and then i am going to skip this single crochet and uh, after that you should have four single crochets left because we have already made eight double crochets uh, single crochets when we made when we started on round here so we should have four single crochets left so i am going to make one single crochet into those four single crochets like that and then the next round will be that we are going to make just simple plain single crochet into all single crochets so make one single crochet in each and every single crochet to the end so i am at the end of this round and this is the section we are going to repeat from this round this round in which we made these uh, long double crochets to the uh, to the round we have just uh, completed this is the section we are going to repeat in this beanie i used two colors so this is the point where if you want you can change the color this is the point where you can change the color if you don't want to change the color then you you should just continue in the same color if you change the color then your next section will be started into another color so what i'm going to do, do now is i'm going to show you guys the last round um and then the rest of the rounds are almost uh, the similar so i'm going to make i have made one single crochet i'm going to make one single crochet into the next and then basically what i am going to do is i am going to repeat this round i am going to repeat this round this one so i am going to skip next 5 stitches 2 3 4 5 and into the sixth one i am going to make long double crochet i am going to like that one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. and a lemon i have made a lemon long double crochets what i'm going to do now is i'm going to 1 2 3 4 5 i'm going to skip five uh, single crochets and i'm going to make one single crochet into next two single crochets this is the pattern i'm going to repeat and then we are going to repeat what we did here after we made our what i call it uh, fan uh, stitch so this is the pattern this is the section from here to here 
from this point to I will show you guys here from this point to this point this is the section you you are going to repeat as many times as you want until you get the uh, length of the beanie in my other beanie in this one I I made four of these uh, sections uh, you can make make as many as you want to this one two three four you can make as many as you want this is the best thing about this beanie is that you can adjust the width of the beanie by just making any numbers of the chains which can be divided by 13 and then when you think that you got the desired width you stop making the chains and then you just add these small sections as many times as you think uh, as you want to and then there is approximately one inch of the length which is included after this uh, section so just when you have reached your the length of your beanie minus one inch just stop working just uh, stop uh, adding these uh, these sections and uh, then i will show you guys how to make these decreases so i will make these sections i will turn off my camera now i will complete the rest of the, i will complete the complete rest of the beanie off camera and then i will resume my video again so see you guys soon hopefully so i have repeated the pattern for total four times one two three four and now what we are going to do for next three uh, rows we are going to make some uh, decreasing so I'm going to make one single crochet in next three single crochets one place the stitch marker back one single crochet two single crochet and three single crochet and then we are going to make one single crochet decrease which is that we are going to make two single crochet together like that pull through all of these three loops then I am going to make one single crochet into each of next three single crochets one two and three and then I am going to make a single crochet decrease like that one single crochet in each of next three single crochets one two and three and then one single crochet decrease this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end make one single crochet into each of next three single crochets and then one single crochet decrease so i'm at the end of this round so what we are going to do is that we are into the next round we are going to make one single crochet into next two single crochets one and two and then I'm going to make a single crochet decrease into next three single crochets we are going to insert our crochet hook and grab yarn into the next single crochet and then into the next and then into the next one you will have four loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through all four loops and then make one single crochet into next two single crochets one and two and then make a decrease into next three single crochets insert your hook grab yarn into next single crochet and then into the next and into third one you should have four loops pull through all four loops this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end 
that we are going to make one single crochet into next two stitches and then uh, three single crochet decrease I mean you are going to make one single crochet on next three single crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end so I am at the end of this round so what I am going to do now is that I am going to make one single crochet into next three single crochets one two and three and then I'm going to make single crochet two together one single crochet decrease and then again I'm going to make one single crochet in next two single crochets and then one single crochet decrease this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end which is that I'm going to make one single crochet into next two single crochets and then one single crochet decrease all the way to the end so I have completed the row what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to cut the yarn a little bit longer and then I'm going to pull the yarn so basically what we are going to do now is that we need to close this hole to make it more narrower and so that the uh, top of the beanie's, uh, beanie is finished so for that I am going to thread the uh, yarn, uh, thread the needle by inserting the yarn into the eye of the needle and then I'm going to remove this stitch marker and then insert the needle from behind under the first available single crochet and then insert into the next one insert uh, from the behind uh, under the both loop of next single crochet and then insert the uh, needle under the both loop of next single crochet you just do the uh, in a nutshell I will say that you are going to just do the zigzag like that under both loop of each and every single crochet like that You do that all the way to the end so I'm at the end and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to insert the needle inside the beanie and then I'm going to turn beanie inside out like that so the wrong side wrong side is facing you and then I'm going to pull this yarn as hard as I can like that and then you just make random stitches just to make it uh, secure so it doesn't come off later on so you just make some random stitches to make it more tight and snug and make a few knots
and then cut the yarn and weave in the extra yarn and then I will turn the beanie uh, inside out so that the right side of the beanie is facing us so now I'm going to turn the beanie inside out so that you guys can see the right side of the beanie facing you so our beanie is finished what you can do now is you can make a pom-pom uh, pom and attach it on the top of the beanie but uh, our beanie is finished now so now I'm going to show you guys that the length and the width of the beanie of both beanies are approximately same and uh, this is how it looks if uh, uh, if you guys make it in two colors and this is how it looks if it's made in one color hopefully it was easy to follow and um, there was no uh, confusing part in my video but still if there is anything that is confusing and you guys did not understand so comment below i'll try my best to help you guys um, if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you so much for watching and peace be upon you all